Hello, it's me Pierre Farrugia. Today I'm again with my kayak and I am in Cospicua, in Malti Supolit Borna. Uh, from here we're going to pedal all the way with the shore until we get to Vittoriosa and there we find uh, a small hidden cave which you can enter and it's, uh, it's very nice, it's worth it to see. Uh, something else I want to wear this today that uh, here which I'm, what I, I'm sitting, what used to be a dry docks, where a ship can go in from here, the water will run down and be, it was a super industrial area. Passing from here, it was very ugly, but now let me show you that here have been transformed. Look how beautiful. Here it is, because people now. It's all green with uh, monuments, they did this university here, this part has been totally transformed and uh, I think if I was a resident here I will be very happy. Eh? From here one can see the beauty of this place. Uh, people like me who are from Calcarius pass from here uh, can appreciate more. In front of me there's this statue made from steel which is a Maltese boat with a hot air balloon on top. It's very nice. Eh? They even a part of this tree of the of the trees. Uh, they made this bridge here. It was from one side of the earth to another, which add to the aesthetics of this place. But as I told you at the beginning, our aim is to visit that hidden cave in Cospico, uh, in Victoria, the sorry, which we call Birgit. Everywhere you look here, yeah, you will find beautiful yachts apart from the bastions and all the old uh, buildings here. Eh? If you look on my left, let me tell now. That is Sanglea Gate, huh? the bastions that around Sanglea. In front of me, on the right as well, near the sea, it's Machina. And on the other side, you can already see at least uh, three to four churches. Eh? Amazing. On this side, one can see Sanglia. And uh, this structure on my left around here, yeah, there's the tower with the clock. The other structure is called Guardiola. And it was used by soldiers so they can monitor all around the corner where it's uh, situated eh? and they are very iconic to Malta. Eh? So let's continue our meditation. But even if you look on this side, I look how nice it is with all those churches. This is the Valletta Electricity Ferry. Here I'm navigating with this big boy, Sarah. In front of me again, there's for Saint Angelo. And I'm going to head inside the Finland Sea up there. On my right, there are these very luxury and high class apartments by the sea. How beautiful, eh? Just beside Saint Angelo. And if I turn like this, I can see those beautiful apartments. I will move here today if I can. A beautiful day. So now let's continue our way to 
that uh, heading to if I told you about. I don't think that this guy will part exchange my kayak for his boat. Eh? I think it's a little bit more expensive than mine. We have the view of St. Angela Zona of the Republic of St. Angela. I will have to come to visit this area. This uh, boat. Very nice. This is another view of uh, St. Angela. In the right corner, you can see that uh, tower that I told you about, that's so just can stay in which we call it Guardiola. We are nearly arrived at our destination. We have gone all around for St. Angelo now. I hope you enjoyed the first part. It didn't uh, have anything to do with the cave, but I think it's always, I always enjoy going there. It's super flat and you can pedal very quickly inside there. Everywhere you look, yeah. What can find this thing? And here is being restored as well. Now we have reached uh, our cave. Please keep in mind that all caves are dangerous and uh, rockfall is something that can happen. Uh, at each cave. If you see the wall here, all have been uh, supported, so it doesn't look super stable. But going inside is always at your own risk and uh, use your uh, caution. Eh? I have put some lights on so we can see. This is the entrance to the cave. Uh, it's just a very small cave, but uh, it's very nice. Eh? Let's go inside slowly. So we can see what's inside. It's about two meters wide and look how much. And one can even find a small beach inside here. You can beat your kayak inside here. There have been some rock for as well. I will be coming for a while, and I can even just go to the ground floor. Let's go. There has been some big rock falls around. This one has to take care of. Here is uh, Sandy Beach. And you can see my graph in here. Yeah. It's amazing, yeah? There is a very small entrance here. Yeah. The beach is all sand. You can hardly walk inside here. Yeah. Look how nice, eh? This is where it is. I know it's good, eh? Look at the color of this thing, eh? How beautiful it is, eh? Okay, okay. Here there have been some significant color. Look at this. Yeah. So 
on a un staff qui est avec le euh, Et là, on va aller sur ces routes, et go, et explore. Je vais aller sur ces routes, et je peux voir, je ne peux pas. Prenez soin, parce que je vais vous montrer que c'est un peu plus dangereux. Et là, on est sur le top. Il y a un sand ici, et on va faire des sécurités, mais ici, You see? It doesn't look that it goes anywhere. You see? Yeah. Here is where the rock fall uh, happened, and up here, and up there. And uh, there are some cracks yeah, from here, so take care or uh, stay out, preferably, because uh, it doesn't look the stable. So it's now time that even me I head outside there, because seeing all this rock fall here, it's not advisable to to explore anymore in here. Let's check this out. From here we can get uh, a better view of this cave. Eh? Yeah, I find this cave to be amazing. Eh? So now let's head down. Eh? Hope you enjoyed this vlog from this beautiful cave. Yeah. Uh, now we're going to head up to the park here. Uh, please like and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.